What's good, BitRushers? It's Kyler. And in today's video, we're going to be going over the Binance Smart Chain BSC, as well as the Binance Smart Chain Chrome Extension Wallet, how to get started. But before that, please follow me on Twitter at BitRush9000. Please join the Telegram group, also BitRush9000, link for both in the descriptions below. And while you're at it, why don't you sub to the channel and click the bell to be notified on future content. Here we go. So the top Binance Smart Chain dApps. You guys may be familiar with PancakeSwap. I've already covered that one in the past. If you want, there'll be a link for that in the description and a uh, link should be popping up above now. We also have Cross Finance. We have a new one here, ThugsFi. We have Rocket Game, BSC Swap, Soft Drink Swap, Bakery Swap, Burger Swap, every kind of swap you can think of. So just a ton of apps, guys, coming. And um, we'll get into a few more of these in later videos, and that's why I just want to cover an overview of the chain. So an overview of Binance Smart Chain, an introduction to the BSC. Too long, didn't read. You've probably heard of Binance Chain, the home of BNB currency. It's optimized for ultra-fast trading. To achieve this, it had to make certain trade-offs, one being that it wasn't as flexible from a programmability standpoint as other blockchains. Well, Binance Smart Chain is here to change that. A new blockchain with a full-fledged environment for developing high-performance decentralized applications. It was built for cross-chain compatibility with Binance Chain to ensure its users get the best of both worlds. Binance Chain was launched in April of 2019. Its primary focus was to facilitate fast, decentralized, or non-custodial trading. Perhaps, unsurprisingly, the biggest decentralized application or dApp on the Binance Dex is the Binance Dex, one of the friendliest decentralized exchanges out there. You can use it on Binance.org or with the Trust Wallet. Due to limitations inherent of the blockchain system, however, the chain doesn't have much flexibility. Smart contracts in the way of optimized for fasting trading could significantly congest the network. Remember CryptoKitties at the height, it brought the Ethereum network to its knees. So scalability remains one of the most challenging hurdles of the blockchain development, and that's where Binance Chain comes in. So this is interesting because Ethereum 2.0 keeps getting kicked down the road. They keep kicking the can down the road and keeps getting pushed out further and further. So what we're seeing now is um, other competitors trying to create their own version of an Ethereum network that is faster with cheaper fees. And so that's what Binance Smart Chain is. They essentially, they fork the Ethereum network and Binance Smart Chain is a version of an ERC-20 token chain. So Binance Smart Chain BSC is best described as a blockchain that runs in parallel with Binance Chain. Unlike Binance Chain, BSC boasts smart contract functionality and compatibility with Ethereum Virtual Machine, the EVM. The design goal here was to leave the high throughput of Binance Chain in intact while introducing smart contracts to the ecosystem. In essence, both blockchains operate side by side. It's worth noting that BSC isn't a so-called layer two or off-chain scalability solution. It's an independent blockchain that could run even if Binance's chain went offline. That said, both chains bear a strong resemblance from a design standpoint. So this means is that um, Binance Smart Chain is not running on top of the Binance Chain. It's not a second layer to it. It's actually its own separate chain and they run parallel to each other and work together with each other. And because Binance Smart Chain is EVM compatible, that's the Ethereum virtual machine, it launched with the support for a rich universe of Ethereum tools in dApps. So anything that runs on Ethereum can be ported over to run on the BSC Smart Chain, and that includes the MetaMask wallet. So in my last video on PancakeSwap, I did cover how to add the Binance Smart Chain to your MetaMask wallet. If you guys want, you can watch that video for a more in-depth process. And I also have this article here. I'm just going to briefly scroll through so you guys can see it and pause. If you need the information, you're going to add an additional network and fill out the information. Binance Smart Chain, uh, bse-dataseed.binance.org. Chain ID is 56, symbol is BNB, and the block explorer is bscscan.com. Okay, guys, so if you need that, you can search that article as well. Um, so how does smart chain work? Consensus, so 
Um, three second block times with the proof of stake consensus algorithm. Specifically, it uses something called proof of stake of authority. So POSA, where participants stake B and B to become validators. If they propose a valid block, they receive transactions and fees from uh, that are included in it. And um, this is kind of cool because the way that this works is that you can just hold BNB in your wallet and you're gonna receive rewards. So that works for the BEP20 or the BEP2. So either one of these now, I believe you'll be able to hold those BNB in your wallet and receive rewards just for having that proof of staked authority. You'll get airdrops from different coins that um, Binance does and things like that. So really cool if you guys are into you know that kind of thing, just holding it is um, a benefit. So cross-chain compatibility. Binance Smart Chain was envisioned as an independent but complementary system to the existing Binance Chain. So dual chain architecture is used. I kind of mentioned this before is that um, this new BSC isn't running on top of the BNB network. It, it's running, you know, together with it parallel. Um, so they've come up with a way that they can transfer assets, you know, fast between the two of them. BEP2 and BEP8 tokens from Binance's chain can be swapped for BEP20 tokens, the new standard introduced by the smart chain. Again, um, BEP20 are ERC20 tokens. So the Binance smart chain BEP20 is basically a tokenized version of Ethereum. And we can move our coins using that um, extension I mentioned before. And then there's also a Binance smart chain um, wallet. You can search for it. It's called Binance Chain Wallet on the Chrome store. And you're going to add that to your um, Chrome extension. And you're going to have to set it up with the password and store your seed. Make sure you encrypt it and save it somewhere safe because if you lose your seed, you will lose access to your wallet. Once that's installed, you have an icon in the top right you can click on. And you see the interface is very similar to MetaMask, just a little bit cleaner UI. You have all of your coins right here under assets. You can add a new one. Here we can see like our pancake swap. We can also track all of our activity. And we can change between chains. So not only does the Binance Chain Wallet cover the Binance Smart Chain Network, which is the Ethereum um, fork, it also covers the old network the Binance chain network. So this is actually pretty cool as well because in the past I've had to use Trust Wallet on my phone and I believe now I'll be able to use um, this you know wallet extension with the um, Binance chain network for the BNB tokens for things like um, BEP swap. So that'll be a future video where I cover that but I believe that is possible and that's why I decided to download the smart chain wallet even though I already had um, the network added so i can switch over here on metamask and now i have that network i prefer just to run the ethereum network on my metamask and have a separate wallet here just for the binance chain so that's why i decided to do that that is your decision guys choose what's best for you and back to the article so decentralized finance on binance smart chain you may know that a number of digital assets such as bitcoin litecoin ethereum eos and ripple already exist on Binance chain as peg coins. These are tokens that are pegged to assets on their native chains. For instance, you might decide to pick up or lock up 10 Bitcoin in order to receive 10 BNB Bitcoin on Binance chain. At any time, you can trade those 10 Binance Bitcoin for 10 Bitcoin, meaning that they hold the same value. Right? So that's a way that they accomplish cross-chain operability is you can't actually swap uh, tokens from one chain to another if they they're not compatible and functional but you can create a new token on the other chain that is pegged which means it holds the exact same value so in essence even though they're different coins they are the exact same value And because of this flexibility offered, there's a number of different chains that can be used on the growing DeFi space. For instance, applications like PancakeSwap, which we've already covered. Um, there's also BurgerSwap, BakerySwap, and a bunch of others, guys. So um, the reason I'm covering this and the reason I want to get involved in more of these Binance Smart Chain dApps, just to let you guys know, is if you follow in any of my other videos, you've seen some of my smart contracts with Tron, almost all of them exit scammed or rug pulled or you know something happened to them 
And it just seems like it's really a scammy, scammy environment with Tron. As much as I like some of the stuff, the only project I really made a lot of money on, or a good amount of money, I should say, was Tron X. I, you know, I cashed out with a good amount on Tron X just because it grew so fast, so quick. But everything else, I haven't really made a whole lot. I've made, you know, a little bit here and there. And I just feel like the Tron scene in general is, you know, it's kind of like the Wild West. It's just not really super regulated. It doesn't have um i don't know it, it, it's just really not what i want to be doing guys i want to bring you guys good videos and things that are going to be legit and things that are going to be making you money things that are going to help me make money i want to help you guys and so i feel bad that a lot of these chains are you know not working out the shark tron just had a um, ddos attack we saw dsp so a lot of this stuff is just not working great and i feel like the binance smart chain is going to be the way to go because binance is a bigger company they're putting more money into it i feel like they regulate it a little bit better but with that said anything on the binance chain guys is still it's the same thing you have to do your own due diligence do your own research never invest more than you can afford to lose but I do feel like it, it's some of the stuff like pancake swaps a little bit more legit they're less likely to exit scam and if we look here, we can see the volume on that, right? So um, 17 million on PancakeSwap. If we come down to cross uh, finance here, we have 1.8 million. Uh, a couple other bigger projects, but a lot of them are small, just getting started. And I'm gonna get into more of these as we go. I'll probably cover a couple of these projects as they get bigger or as new ones come. And that is why I just want to give you guys an overview of the Binance Smart Chain, show you how to get that wallet set up here or how to use the MetaMask wallet. So in the future, when we cover these other projects, you guys will be ready to go. I hope you did enjoy the content in this video. If you did, please smash the thumbs up. Leave me a comment in below and let me know what you think. Share this video with any friends or family you think may also enjoy this video. Um, smash the thumbs up. Until next time, guys. Happy staking. Let's get those divs.